Hello everyone, you're watching Tom James Clark. Hello everyone, welcome along to my Hearth Marathon video. In this video I'm going to show you a bit of my prep, a bit of the actual day, and a bit of opinions and feedback to people that are going to be doing half marathons. Just to give you my thoughts of it all, um, it went well, it was about a, almost a month ago now, but no, it was a really good day. Enjoyed it, had a great time, had some good music on in the background. So this video, I'm going to talk about it all, and yeah, it's longly anticipated this video. So hopefully you haven't had too long of the wait and you enjoyed this video. Going into TK Maxx to find my half marathon top. Are we excited? Very excited. Oh, Sports Direct. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to find a pair of trainers for the half marathon. Having a look at some of these ones. I feel like I've got a bit of green in there. But they're quite nice. Stand out a little oh, bit. Oh, we'll I was just laughing coming. about these ones. Where are they? Yeah, definitely having them for the half marathon sandals. I think it would work well, wouldn't it? Yeah, wouldn't fall over or anything. <laughs> so I really like them, but then you have eight and a half, and I'm an eight. Not ideal. These are mine. They've had it a bit. Not going to survive the half marathon with these. Just went in sports direct. Those shoes weren't the perfect size, so I'm going to look online instead. If not, I'm going to go back. I think we're now going to go to Costa, but I probably won't film that because that's got nothing to do with the half marathon, so there we go. We're in Costa now, very sunny. I have ordered them, they are mine, and what a deal. 20 pounds from 70. Deals, deals, deals. They're quite nice, they're beautiful. Very nice. Okay, so that was such a random part of the video. That was all on the 17th of September, and now we're gonna move on to the 24th of September, when my trainers arrived. Okay, so my trainers have finally come, not even 24 hours after ordering. Very, very good. So let's open them. <laughs> and here they are. Nice box. Nice, nice box. So, okay. They are really nice. Oh, look at that, people. Look at that. I just love how, like, I love the colour, like, I just love the green going up as well. Let's check, they're definitely the right size. Right size. I need to try them on now. Fingers crossed! They are a perfect size. Look at them. They are fresh. <laughs> no, they're so nice. I really, 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 really like the colours. Um, they're caramel, Juma, running trainers. So they're going to be perfect for the half marathon. They're really, really comfy. So yeah, going to be really good to run in these. Literally perfect fit, perfect fit. And they came so quickly as well. Shout out Sports Direct. <laughs> Hashtag ad. Those trainers were so comfy. They were proper running trainers, so they were good for the job. And yeah, they came so quick. So shout out to Sports Direct for that because very, very quick. And yeah, it meant that I could break them in quite a bit before the actual day which was good, which I needed to, otherwise my feet would have been covered in blisters. I've got a couple of blisters, there's more of that further on the video. So keep watching and now watch my stress of the day, day before, a couple of days before now, the actual half marathon. Hello everyone, it is now Friday the 4th of October. Two days to go. <sighs> Man, feeling nervous. But excited, ready to smash it. Feeling energised, don't know if I'm going to go to the gym today, might do, not tomorrow, just going to rest tomorrow, Saturday is going to be rest. Um, try and carb up a little bit in the afternoon and evening, and then hopefully Sunday is going to go good. Um, it's meant to rain a little bit, but a little bit of rain doesn't matter, as long as it's not like flooded, flooded, should be okay. Um, yeah, I can't believe how quick it's gone to be honest, I don't... Hmm. I can't remember the last time I filmed something as part of this video, so when I go back to edit it, it's going to be quite interesting actually, because I can't remember what I filmed. But yeah, this is the journey of the half marathon, two days to go, and yeah, I, I, I just can't wait, it's going to be really fun, I've got a really good playlist. Nice top, new trainers, been breaking them in. Yeah, so hopefully 
it's gonna go good. So keep watching, find out how I do, and yeah, let's go. Oh, so it is Saturday now. Shoes be half marathon is tomorrow and I've just been to the gym for the last time beforehand. My leg hurts a little bit so I was just trying to take it steady so hopefully I'll wake up feeling energ uh, energised tomorrow morning. Um, feeling scared, feeling nervous, feeling petrified but I feel energised, feel excited. Hopefully I'm going to smash it. Fingers crossed. But it's really scary that that was my last gym beforehand. Very very scary. But Time to go, and this is a tune in the background. Wait for it, wait for it. Check my nails, baby. How you feel? Yeah, so hopefully, when the next clip you watch is gonna be half marathon day or evening before, not sure, but keep watching. I keep saying keep watching, but the good bit is coming, I promise. One <laughs> is now Saturday night. Tomorrow is the She's Behind Marathon. Am I ready? I think I am. I think I am ready. Fresh faced, had a nice scrub in my face and it has made me feel better um, already. So yeah, hopefully tomorrow goes well. Fingers crossed. Had a nice evening carving up, watching Strictly Come Dancing, eating Pizza Hut, which is great. Also currently listen to Everyone Wants to Rule the World by the Lord, which is the Hunger Games soundtrack. Um, Saffron and AJ dance for that which was very very good and I feel like it might be a late entry to my half marathon playlist. Listening to it now and it is so motivational so might, it might, might have to add that one. But no, hopefully tomorrow is going to go well. Really excited. I'm nervous but I'm excited. Um, so yeah, more on that in the morning so good night and see you in the morning. Good morning everyone. Today is the day. I'm literally shaking, my arm is actually shaking, I can't even hold the camera. Fingers crossed to go as well. 7.15 on a Sunday morning. I've been up for 45 minutes. I just get back to bed, but I'm gonna smash it. Oh, I think it has sunk in that it's half the marathon. <laughs> what have I done to myself? No, ready to go. I'm gonna smash it. Got, got to get the tunes on soon. And yeah, wish me luck. See you at the race. I'm sure you're fine. Three hands up, you've done a lot of season four. Brilliant. Look at someone who's looking a bit worried and say, don't worry. We've got Sorry, I, I went, uh, after I got to watch, I went to the race. Try as hard. Set the mile turn. Past 10 miles. <sighs> Haven't walked yet. Ooh. Yeah, go on. Go on. Woo! Woo! Go on, you <laughs> Hey! Oh, well done. Well done. Well done. It's done it less than two hours. Needed. Okay, so I did it. Wearing the top of medal now, just to show you what it looks like, not to show off, obviously. Did the Shoes Me Half Marathon, went so well, oh my god, I can't believe how well it went. I managed to run the whole thing, which was insane, because I thought I was going to have to walk about 20,000 times. I ran the half marathon in 1 hour 55, oh my god, I thought I was going to be longer than that, I thought I was going to be way over 2 hours. I really thought that I hadn't really done enough training. I'd been going to the gym a lot, but I just honestly did not think it would be enough. But I did it. I've got the medal. I've got the t-shirt to prove it. It's a bit tight, but never mind. But honestly, thank you so much to everyone that sent me support for the half marathon. Thanks to people that gave me advice, feedback, everything. I did it. It's done. And honestly, I felt so amazing after. Enjoyed that weather spoons. That was the best thing that I could have had after. Um, I had a bath, I soaked my feet because I was covered in about three or four blisters and yeah, it hurt, it really hurt. I was running almost to the end of the finish line when I felt my foot pop. I don't know what it was, still don't really know, but I think it might have just been the blister forming itself. It's almost there now, it's almost a bit better and it's been a whole month now. So, fingers crossed it goes soon, but honestly, 
make sure that if you're ever going to do a long run, make sure that you do not put on brand new socks because accidentally in the morning, being tired, I put on brand new socks and yeah, that probably wasn't a good idea. My trainers, however, were fairly new but I had been breaking them in a little bit so they were actually okay in the end. But no, make sure you do not wear new socks. I can't stress that enough because I think that is the main reason for my blisters. Maybe not. I mean, when you run, you just get blisters, don't you? But I kept going. I think it was mile nine that I felt that my blister was coming and I just thought, come on, Tom, keep going. Doesn't matter now. You just want to finish it. And I felt great after running over the finish line. Um, I'll insert that all now, actually. And yeah, I think I came over the finish line walked over to my mum and sister and I was like in my own little zone I felt a bit not ill but felt a bit weird and like my airpods fell out of my ear and I was like hobbling over to a seat but honestly that feeling when you finish the run is so good and anyone else out there watching this video if you're going to do a half marathon do it just do it absolutely do it maybe do a couple of park runs like over a couple of weeks build up to train for a Shoesby 10k, 10K, train up to do a 10k and then go and smash it, do a half marathon. That's where I am now. I want to do a couple more 10ks, a couple more half marathons and then the plan is the London half marathon. That's what I want to do. Probably will have to do it for charity because the ballot getting into that is so difficult and I really want to do it by I'm 21 so that would be good. But no, get into running, it makes you feel so great after you might pick up a couple of injuries, but honestly, I've had barely any. My knee hurts still a little bit now, but I, I'm getting there. Music, just had so much great music. My playlist was so good, had some really uplifting songs, and they helped. On the day, they helped. Have an early night's sleep as well. And before, <laughs> before the night, I had a pizza hut. Um, I mean, you're probably not meant to do that, but I don't know, carbs, I guess. So, yeah. Get that energy ready for the day. On the way round, actually, I just had some wine gums, nothing else. Bit of water, actually, but the water to me tasted disgusting. But no, I had some wine gums, about one, like, almost every mile or so. So that helped with the energy. But there was just that inner feeling inside me that what I was doing was great. You know, I'd raised money for charity, for Alzheimer's Society. So, yeah, I just went for it on the day and in the end it went well, I guess. I just want to talk now about the t-shirt. This t-shirt is so nice and the medal as well. If I bring it closer to the camera, I don't know if you'll be able to see, hopefully. But it's got like a proper outline of Shrewsbury, it's got the date, it's got the hashtag Shrewsbury is on, but no, it's such a nice medal. Gonna go nicely on the side with my two 10k medals, but it's not all about the medal, it's not all about the t-shirt, it was about the taking part and doing it. My time was an hour and 55, I've already mentioned that, I don't know why I mentioned it again, but they're a part of that. And yeah, so got there, did it, that's all I keep saying, I did it, okay Tom, we get it, you did it. But no, there was that inner pride after that I just felt bloody fantastic, and yeah, I feel like this is going to be with me for the rest of my life. <laughs> First half marathon I did, but honestly it's such a nice medal, and there's nothing better when you come over the finish line of any run and they pass you a medal and you're just still like, whoa. Some, a couple of people did say to me, did I cry at the end? And I was like, no, I actually didn't. But I think I was too tired and so out of it after just running the whole thing that I was like a zombie. I was just not really having any emotions other than my foot absolutely killing. But yeah, I had a bath after and it, you know, warmed me up again after. But honestly, that blister hurt and i Probably couldn't walk. How long could I not walk for? Probably about two, three days to be fair after. I was in so much pain. But I ended up getting back to work. Staggered around work for the rest of that week. But yeah, just do a half marathon. I cannot stress it enough. Okay, so I've got my phone now. I'm going to go through some of the music that I had on my playlist. I started off with Electricity, which is Dua Lipa's song. Then I had Illuminate, which is Sub Focus, and Wilkinson, and Kanye West, All of the Lights. They were three big songs to get me in the mood, to get me going. Then, like, in the middle, kind of, I think it was, like, mile eight, something like that, I had All Day and Night and God is a Dancer, which really kept me going. Then I had He's a Pirate, which is the Pirates of the Caribbean theme song kind of thing. Um, White Lies by M22 and Insomnia. 
because that just kept me going. Um, honestly, one of my favourite dance tracks made me feel so good and gave me so much energy. And then kind of towards the end, I finished on Waiting All Night by Rudimental and George Ezra, Pretty Shining People, which was one of my songs of the year. So the music meant a lot to me when I ran. I had so many other good songs. Wish You Well by Sigala and Becca Hill was a really good one and Giant by Rag and Bowman and Calvin Harris. They were two of my fade songs in there. But yeah, the music is so important to me when I'm running. I have to have good songs, uplifting dance music to get me through because that's all I can hear really because obviously I had my airpods in but yeah the music is really really a big thing for me so if you're going to run a half marathon 10k park run whichever make sure that you've got some really good music on because it's what gets you through at the end of the day well what I believe but yeah music Okay, so on the topic of running park runs, which I mentioned before in the video, I've done the park run again today, 2nd of November today, and I got 22.37. A little bit off my PB, my PB is 21.19, but really happy with that run, it was really slippery, so I had to kind of slow it down a little bit. And I came 47th, get in. Probably because everyone was watching the rugby, but I got 47, get in. Usually I'm like... 80 something close to 100 ish but no 47 today smashed it 28th park run really happy about that and there were 325 runners so that is quite a lot less than usual it's usually like 500 and a bit but yeah did it and i came fourth in my age category there we have it i just want to get back to my pb now to be honest 21 19 i want to get sub 20 i'm going to get there in the end but you've just got to keep going, got to get to the gym, stay in the gym, like, keep going. So I believe anyone can do a half marathon, get to the gym, get motivated, get into your running, and honestly, you can do it. So take peace of my advice, don't start off too quick, don't go too slow, don't think at the beginning you need to go too slow, get a nice steady pace, and then when you get to, like, six miles or so, you feel like, I'm halfway there, like, well, almost halfway there. You're like, almost there, keep going, maybe speed up a little bit, but don't go too fast because you've still got quite a lot of mileage ahead of you. But when you get to about 12, go through it, absolutely go through it. Pretend that you're in the Olympics running as fast as you can. Pretend you've got to catch up with Mo Farah. Well, don't go too fast, actually, but yeah. If you keep steady towards the beginning, in the middle, try and get a little bit faster and then towards the end, sprint finish. I mean, I don't know if people actually advise you to do a sprint finish, but if you can, you may as well. But yeah, if you take any advice on this video, go through it, do a half marathon, and now I want to be in like a year's time, loads of people are going to be commenting below saying that they've done the half marathon. Okay, so thank you so much for watching. That video was so random. Bit of footage from the day, bit of footage before, bit of footage today of me just talking about random pieces of advice that I can come out with in my head. But thank you for watching, like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell and you'll know when I've got videos coming soon. And hopefully I'll see you again soon.